triple C. I'm gonna make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. And there's only one brand that's fitted for the king. Liftetrucks.com. Everyone else can bend the knee. Find your ride now at liftedtrucks.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Fight Feedback. I am your host, Henry Cejudo, a.k.a. Triple C. And on this episode of Fight Feedback, I'm going to be breaking down the most exciting fighter in UFC history. That's right. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. What is it that makes Justin Gaethje extremely, extremely dangerous? His kicks, his punches, his setups. Guys, there's a lot to break down with this guy. But this wouldn't be possible without our sponsor, Lifted Trucks, America's original custom truck store. That's right. Guys, I have a lifted truck. It's out of my driveway. I put my money where my mouth is, and so should you. So make sure to go to liftedtrucks.com and get your custom trucks. Enough talk. Let's get to the big screen. So right away, guys, Justin Gaethje versus Michael Johnson. Guys, this guy was coming. He was, he was already the World Series of Fighting champion. Literally, he became a free agent, decided to come to UFC, and he didn't pick no easy match with number five, Michael Johnson. I mean, these guys are pretty much identical. Only reach advantage for Michael jo Johnson, you know, two and a half, three and a half, I'm sorry, reach advantage. Similar in age, height, especially weight. Let's hit the play button. Yeah, I was, I was excited to see, watch Justin Gaethje. Right away, it's almost like Michael Johnson was just trying to say, like, hey, man, you don't belong here, you know? And Justin was like, come on, give it to me. You guys see that? But right away, notice what he was doing. Kicking that leg. That first kick, that, that first kick. This is, this, is, this is only a minute in, everybody. But now you press me, now it's time for me to press you. These are some of Justin Gaethje's greatest weapons. Is his inside fighter. He's got uppercuts, knees. He'll run things down the middle, but he, he doesn't discriminate in your whole body. He's already like say, boom. He's going in there. He's taking that. He's taking that pressure. But no, notice all these kicks. They're gonna add up. Ba. And Justin don't care, man. He'll, he'll break his leg. He'll keep kicking you. Gets hurt. Gets hurt with that uh, that one two. And this is all round one. Hook, boom, and I think. Notice Justin though. He kept his. He, he he's he has the ability. Ooh, it was like an up. It's like a shovel shovel hook or sho, shovel. It's like an uppercut. But then round two, he starts bringing the pain. You know when Michael Johnson starting to think takedowns, he's in trouble because this guy's not even a takedown artist. This is only round two, ladies and gentlemen. And, and Gaethje's not letting this dude off the hook. Now, Gaethje just like, once he smells blood, he's gonna keep it in this fight zone. Like he's like, man, Michael Johnson's like, what the hell did I get myself into? You're talking about levels. You know, you could be, you can look, you can look great on the pads or have knocked people out, but can you take the storm when somebody like Justin Gaethje brings elbows, knees, kicks? Very diverse with his punches. And again, this is this is what I love about Justin. All of a sudden, surprise! I forgot about this. Bah! Buckled him. Yeah, now he's having fun. Now he knows. He know he smells this dude breaking. Jumping knee. Like you, you see what I'm saying? Another knee. A referee just had enough. I mean, this is uh, Justin Gaethje's fan base that grew overnight because of the tenacity, the 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 brutal pressure, the the fight spirit that Justin has is what makes him what makes him him. I remember I saw him fight a uh, like knee does not discriminate. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I know what that feels like to the body at least. Um, I saw him fight against Palomino at World Series of Fighting. I saw him watch, I saw him fight him live. I was like, Jesus, man, this dude has a pair of balls that I have never seen before. Cause he was, he got knocked out. Like these guys just went toe to toe. It was the fight of the year. I want to say in 2018 or one of the, one of those dates or 2016, I forget what it was, but I remember watching that fight and I immediately became a fan of him. 
You know, me and if you guys didn't know this, me and Justin Gaethje we wrestled in Arizona, Arizona wrestling together. Um, you know, he went to a 3A school out in, uh, you know, uh, somewhere out in, and man, I don't, I don't know why I'm drawing. I think Safford, yeah, Safford. You know, he was amongst a lot of great wrestlers, state champion. Anyhow, I just want to give you guys a quick history. Fighting Cowboy Cerrone. Um, you know, reach advantage for Cerrone. Uh, age advantage for Gaethje. Let's go. Yep, right away. I mean, you would think Cowboy. They, look, we're literally 10 seconds in, and this is like, bah, give me, give me that calf. Give me, let, let me, let me hurt your nerves first. Yep, that hook. He commits. When Justin Gaethje, what makes him dangerous is the fact that he commits. But notice he had faked that takedown. Look, notice. Fake the level change. Watch. Fake the level change. Look, 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 look where his hand's at. He's coming up top. Bah. Eventually hurts Cowboy. You can tell Cowboy wobbled. Yep. But then again, you get that close, you'll think hands. Bah. This is, I, be, I believe this is Justin Gaethje's greatest weapon right here. His ability to take somebody's foundation out. Yup, and then th that left hook. G Gaethje striking is, uh, Gaethje striking is really under. <laughs> dude, Gaethje's such a, dude, Gaethje's such a gangster, dude. Watch. I don't know what he yells at, cowboy. But left hook. No, right hook, I'm sorry. Boom. And he don't discriminate. It's almost like he's almost like a hockey player. <laughs> bah, countered him. And notice what he does. Notice, I love how he clinches him. Boom, kind of hockey style. And he throws up the middle. Like this right here is what makes, this is, this is where I can take notes too. And a lot of fighters. Bah. And that hook just dropped Cowboy. And this referee, man, get the hell out of the way, bro. Like, make up your mind. Yeah, I don't know what the hell Gagey told him, but he told him something. Yeah, Cowboy, Cowboy just too, took too many brutal fights like this. Like, too many. His uh, Cowboys' greatest chance of becoming champ, he wasn't going to beat him. It was against probably Dos Anjos. Ooh. Yep. Countered him. Yeah, that's the highlight. That's the highlight. Perfect damn name. And guys, I was at this fight here. He was, uh, no, yeah, I was a co main event for this fight. And a lot of people thought Tony Ferguson was going to, you know, beat Justin. Similar in everything, but this. I had no idea. Uh, Tony was, in the, at this time, he was the number one contender. He was going to get a chance to finally fight Khabib after this fight. But this man right here really probably finished uh, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson, after this fight, has never been the same. Let's hit the play button. Yup, right away. Round one. Round one. Look at how heavy he is, too. Yeah, Tony does a good job of it. He knows when he's hurt. Yep. Catches him. And now Tony is first to, uh, he's forced to switch stance. Man, this is round three. Look at how beat up Tony is. Yeah. You do not want to be in the pocket with Justin. You do not want to be in the pocket like him unless, unless your inside game is that good. And every once in a while, he will sneak it up top. It's impressive. That's what I'm saying. Like Justin, Justin does a good job, but again, he invests, takes the foundation, and then he's starting to use all the limbs that he has. Again, we're in the fourth now. Boom. That's his greatest gift. That's just his greatest damn gift, man, is, are his leg kicks. And he kicks hard. You know, Tony Ferguson for this one, man. God, man. Surprised he was staying up. Justin was just throwing all every, every power and 
Tony was just hopping in and out. He was just like, dude, what am I in? What did I get myself into? Throws that right hand. He's in the pocket, man. Yeah, Justin could be... Justin's kind of a controlled wild. You know, look at Tony's just like... That's a lot of time. Herb Dean just had enough. Oof. Yeah. I mean, I think of a fight... I mean, I think of a fight with him and Fiziev. And it's like... I'm wondering what is it that Fiziev is thinking with Justin. As you know, you know Justin is more likely to take it here. It's a three-round fight, too. It benefits Justin a little bit more, too, with Fiziev. He came the interim champ. <laughs> yep, and here we have another than uh, Justin Gaethje versus Iron Michael Chandler. Chandler's pretty short, bro, for, uh, <laughs> for a lightweight. I can... Uh... Anyways. But the reach advantage. Crazy. He has a longer reach than Justin. Let's hit the play button. That uppercut. People don't see that damn uppercut coming. Notice. Bah. He went jab. Snuck it in. He still came through the jab. Boom. Came with that right uppercut. Apper did. Good. Justin Gaethje's hands are definitely underrated. Like the dude actually legit. The more I watch him. He has technique. I think my biggest thing sometimes with Justin is his threshold because he throws, he does throw a lot of power. How is it that you can finish the race for five damn rounds? He did it with Gaethje, but Gaethje never was, I'm sorry, he did it with Tony Ferguson, but Tony Ferguson never came with that wrestling threat. Nice leg kick. Chandler was just like, give it to me, let's go. Chandler just walking into that stuff. Damn. Justin Gaethje has given people beatings, man, like you wouldn't believe. I'm curious to see the x-rays in his damn hands. What the hell's in him? And if you guys didn't know, Justin Gaethje is freak, is half Mexican. I know his mom and his dad. It's a trip. And he prides on that. Hell of a fight. I want to say it was fight of the year for a lot of things. I wish I would have saw a little more grappling, but uh, but that's what it is. I, I do believe Justin Gaethje, you know, his toughest task right now, it is going to be Fiziev. You know, Fiziev is a fighter who literally wants to fight him. And he's excited to fight a guy like Justin Gaethje. He's excited to fight a guy like Justin Gaethje because he knows the threats and the violence that this man brings. But that's all. That, that also tells me that Fiziev is also confident too. You don't call you don't call out a guy like that if you don't think he can take a hit or if you can defend a takedown. You know the other thing too is what is it that Justin Gaethje is going to bring out to the table? Is he going to be able to bring back that Division One wrestling again? Remember, guys, he was a Division One All American. Can Justin Gaethje pull that out to fight a great striker like Fiziev? And now let's go to the three T's, the techniques, the tactics, and the threshold. So the techniques, the tactics, and the threshold. Oof. Let's start off here, guys, because this is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Justin. You know I got your back, bro. Don't hurt me, man. But this is the one thing with Justin that, uh, that if he could, you know, because he's had fights with Eddie Alvarez, he's had fights with uh, with Dustin Poirier, and sometimes he throws a lot of power. If he can control a lot of that power, if he can be more of a competitor than he is a fighter, I mean, Justin Gaethje would be a whole nother. Uh, he's already like a. He's, it's crazy with the ability that he has, but if he kind of wasn't so so much of a killer. I do believe he'd be a, a, a better fighter, but this is one thing, this is one area where I feel like Justin Gaethje could really hone in on some of that power, really picking things uh, up. But that's also what kind of what makes him great too. He's a risk taker. But for Justin Gaethje, I'm gonna have for the threshold, man, I'm gonna have to give you a seven. You know, again, these are three points of improvements where is it, wherever it is that Justin could actually get better. The technique. Justin Gaethje's technique is really, really good. You know, I mean, it is good, but sometimes I wonder if, uh, if sometimes he's, God, 
it, it, for me, it's hard to dissect a, a guy like Justin because he's he's got he's got he fights everybody the same. Tactical training right here. He's gonna take your legs out. So maybe I would like to maybe get to the tactics second, other than the threshold. You know, his tactics of being able to take that distance, kick your leg, come in with hands, throwing those uppercuts, throwing those knees down the middle, like he is. He is what you call an Aztec warrior, man. Like he is out to go. All right, man. You be, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. But it's the same reason what makes him tough. So his tactics, the fact that he has that, and I typically don't grade this like that. But there's there's unicorns, there's ones of a kind. I mean, this is what makes Justin Gaethje good. Right here is like uh, well, I'm going toe to toe with you, despite some of his losses. But I can't quite give him a ten, but I will give him an eight. You know. I will give him an A because he invests in, I'm going to tactically break you down. I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and I'm going to hurt you. And uh, let's get to the technique. I would love to see wrestling uh, from Justin top riding. You know, he, he, wrestled, he wrestled his whole life. He's a wrestler at trade. Uh, sometimes he can be down the pocket. He can be down the middle where he's got to be careful. But his punches, his combinations, his sequences, how he does it, how he'll make you think kicks, and he'll come back with hands, how he'll kick you, and you feel like the hands are coming. Like he 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 has an ability of really kind of mixing all of his fighting. So for his technique, I'm gonna have to give him again, guys. I mean, this guy's got a finisher like you wouldn't believe because he's so dangerous. I'm gonna have to give him an eight. If he was to bring his wrestling up to par and use that a little bit more. Um, man, he, 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 if there's any area where he can make the best improvements, though, out of all this, what I just said, it's going to be right here. It's going to be right there. You know, Justin, I know, I don't know if you're going to watch this, but this area, if you can just become more of a competitor than an actual fighter, I do believe that 155 pounds, you can be any of these dudes, any of them, but we have to make those adjustments. You know, but this is another reason why it also makes you special too. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. So overall, guys, like this isn't this is first of all when I do when I do you know this fight feedback, this isn't for this isn't for me to like give people like crazy scores or too low. Like no, these are room. This is room for improvements for people to actually get better. So again, when you add it all up, it's twenty three out of 30 but that's what it is i think there's room of improvement as much as he's up there in the world if he can make especially this adjustment i do believe that justin gaethje could retain with the heart that he has to be able to fight for the belt once again in a stacked division at 100 155 pounds so again guys th thank you guys for watching i'm your host henry cejudo aka triple c and we will deliver you guys, make sure to go to liftedtrucks.com and go get your trucks, guys. Guys, like I said before, I love being lifted. I love being the king of the jungle as I'm rolling. I put my money where my mouth is, and it's the same reason why I have a lifted truck in my garage. I'm out! So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out!